Hello everyone. Let's take a look at the social annotation tool Perusal. Right now we're on Perusal's homepage and this page will give you a nice overview of all the features that do exist in Perusal, including all of the options for adding content to your course area. So let's go ahead and go to this login button up in the upper right hand corner of the home page. Once this page loads, you'll notice that you have an opportunity to register for a free account here. After you've registered, you can sign on in to your course area. Once you enter the course area, you will see the handy buttons up here at the top. This is where you will create a course or copy a course, and this is where students will enroll in a course with the course code that you provide. I'm going to take you now to my example course. When you click on the Get Started area, you will see three highlighted steps. Here is the code that is automatically generated that you share with your students so that they can enroll in your course area. Next, you'll use the library area, which you see the button up here, to add all of your materials that you wish students to annotate. And then finally, you will create assignments from these materials. Let's go ahead into the library area. And I have already uploaded a couple of materials. Um, one of them is a video and the other is an image. So how did I upload this video? Right here I have the video option and this add content button is always available. So I click on video and I simply paste in that video URL. I can also add a secondary video if I wish. So let's close that out. Um, as for adding an image, you see that I have an option to add documents from my device. So I simply downloaded from um, JSTOR um, an art store image. And if you didn't know, um, Art Store is being folded into the JSTOR area, so it's very easy to find um, a wide variety of images there. So let's take a look at how each of these items works. When I click on um, this video, you see that we have an open button here. And to assign it to students, I simply will click here and make the assignment. I can edit and add a description of what my expectations are right here. So let's go ahead and open it. And the video will load. Students will click the play button. And once they get to an area where they'd like to add a comment, they click the add comment button. You'll notice that they have a wide variety of um, button options, formatting, adding um, formulas, uh, inserting a poll, uh, emojis, code snippets, images, links to other resources on the web, um, video, and they can also post anonymously. Over here on the right, they also have a variety of options. They can see all of the conversations that have been created um, for this video. Um, they can view their starred comments. Um, all notifications are found here, bookmarks. And finally, they can create additional notes in this area. So very easy to add comments. So let's re return to the course home and let's take a look at how the image works. Again, you see the same options. I'm going to go ahead and open this image and um, I can see that there is an overlay right here that I had created earlier. So I outlined this Colombian flag 
and I put in the um, note right here, or the comment right here, note the Colombian flag here. So as students add more comments, they will highlight an area on the image and then enter their comment right into the box. And this is a quick overview of how perusal works.